Due to popular demand, I am going to be showing you guys my top tips on how I like to get my Pinterest rocking and rolling and how it leads to more conversions, sales, clients, eyes on your business. If this all sounds good to you, then keep on watching. What's up guys, my name is Ambrosia Carey. I am a salon owner and a marketing strategy specialist in the industry. I'm super excited to bring to you more marketing tips on how to blow up your business and the principles that I apply to my techniques in order to grow as a six plus year stylist and a seven figure salon owner. So if that all sounds awesome to you, then make sure you click that like and subscribe button and hit the bell just so you can get a notification every Wednesday when we drop our next video. I work as a freelance marketing strategist strategies for other companies and this is one of the companies I have been working for. I'm building up their Pinterest at the moment since a lot of their traffic is coming from all over the world and they're really wanting to target clients in the niche area. So I'm going to show you how you can do this the same for yourself as a salon owner or a hairstylist, finding the right type of clients and also more ways that you can do it is by setting up affiliate links, which we will definitely go in a future video. Make sure you comment below and let me know if that's something that you're interested in. And I'll spend the time to walk you through step by step on how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and open up this page. I'm actually going to uh, be conservative and I'm going to save face. I'm not going to show the name of this person, but I just want to show you how I actually set up my pins. So I'm going to first start out with an idea pin. Right now, idea pins are one of the hottest things and think of it like your stories. It's a way for people to find you the fastest and it's an easier way for people to understand what you're going to be doing more of. Uh, idea pin is really cool because you put your top tips in there. You can lump some of your favorite categories together. You can put a supply list of things that people might need if they want to recreate that look, uh, AKA hint, hint, sending them back to an affiliate link, which would be really good too. But an idea pin is really nice because it's forward facings at the very top of your Pinterest feed. And it's a nice way to keep things organized for you. So in this situation, I'm going to do a half up, half down look. I'm going to drop, drag and drop the top five photos that I have for the half up, half down look. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to the font that I've been using, which is going to be cross stitch. And I'm going to situate it about three quarters of the way down the photo, just so that I make sure that it's not covering up the hair entirely, but it's still noticeable so people can reach it and it will be eye catching from the very beginning. Once I finish that, then I, fit, I find a board that I want to organize it under and I uh, click on my half up, half down. Now I'm going to go through and I am going to start tagging. So when I'm tagging, I'm looking for descriptors that I think that people are going to be searching for. Tags are really great because it links it to just in case somebody doesn't actually happen to type half up, half down, but they put like half up style. Uh, it's a really great way for people to be able to find you. So let's say they're looking for wedding hairstyles, bridesmaids hairstyles, hairstyles, half up, half down, you catch the drift. So now I'm gonna finish filling all the rest of these in and then I'm gonna go into my next category which I'm gonna go ahead and click on supplies. Supplies is, and I'm actually gonna put this on medium because this is something that's not really super easy to do on yourself. You have to have some level of skill set in order to do these. So being transparent with that too is really helpful because you don't wanna fall under a category of easy and somebody tries it and they get frustrated by it. So it's a nice filing system for people to find you properly. So what I'm gonna put here is what you'll need. And then in bullet point form, I'm just gonna put something like bobby pins, texture spray, curling or waving iron, hairspray. And that looks pretty good to me. So now all I have to do is I can push the preview button so I can see what it looks like. And if you use the carrot and move over, you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. I'm good with that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and say publish. And it just takes a couple of moments and there you have it. It's gonna show up right away and you can see it and you can go ahead and save it under a different board if you want to, or you can just keep it under the board that you originally created under. So now if I go here, you can see where that new board is next to the other boards. And case in point, you can see the interaction that are on those board versus the regular pins. If I go back here, you can see that it's like 20 times more traffic that's coming to those top idea pins rather than a regular pin. Okay, so 
Pins are not to be forgotten though. Regular pins are super important because it's what leads people back to a website. It's where call to action happens. It's what brings people to another place in order for them to click on something, buy something, subscribe to something. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my next image and I'm gonna drop it in as a regular pin. And what's really important when you're actually making a pin is you wanna do a tiny bit of research on a title. Like when I say tiny bit of research, I like to enter in the words that I might use underneath Pinterest first to see what pops up first. Whatever it auto populates, it's gonna be a more popular search. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in because those keywords are really important and it predicts what people are gonna be looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and put boho half up hairstyle and I'm gonna write a little description in there. The description is important too because the description also has keywords inside of it. Why is that important? Because if people are looking for something, they wanna know exactly what they're gonna find in there. This helps Google search engine and Pinterest search engine understand what it is that you're putting up there. The more things that you do and the more repetitive words actually fits your niche, the easier it is for people to actually find you. Now that I finished the description, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I've given credit to the hairstylist who actually created the hair. And then I wanna put here, you will see in this air, this little box where it says alt text. You probably have seen that in Instagram as well. Alt text is important for people who are visually impaired. But what's also important about this is it also tells the search engine what it is is that you can find in this image. So it's a really great way for you to build up stronger keywords that are gonna surround the image in general. Like if somebody had their eyes closed and you had to describe to them what exactly this image was, this is what you wanna say in your alt text. Yes, it can feel a little redundant, but I promise this little step will make a difference and a lot of people are not doing this or skipping this step. So this helps you stand out above the rest. Now I wanted to show you this really quickly because putting up a regular pen is not that difficult. But what I like about Pinterest is that you can set these ahead of time, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna publish it at a later date and I have learned just through the audience and where people will like to see it that I wanna get it super early in the morning. So I'm gonna put it, set it for 5 a.m. and that will go up the very next day. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And the nice part after you do that is you can go back and you can literally see that the pin is scheduled and it's in the queue ready to go. All right, I'm not done yet. I'm just gonna invite you to nerd out with me for a second. So I'm gonna show you what rich pins are all about. Instead of doing a pin, if you actually set it up as a rich pin, and you do have to go through a website for this. So if your website was linked on your Instagram or on your Facebook, regardless, it's still you have to have a hosting site and you have to have a website in order for this to work. But if you have a website, this is a really great way to use your rich pin. A rich pin basically the explanation, it is a forward facing pin that changes information as you change information on your website. So if you go through and edit an old blog, if you have a shop that you have it linked to and you were to change the numbers within the shop, like let's say you sold 10 items and you only had three left, it actually shows up on the pin, that rich pin the same. So that's the reason why it's really important. The other reason why a rich pin is really great is because it has a main description already in it and it is attached to that blog post. So it basically, the reason why they call it rich is because it has rich text that is auto-populated with it so that way anybody that comes across it, they can find your information easier and they could, it actually will attract more people through the search engine. Having rich pins combined with your regular pins combined with your idea pins. If you get those three things going, your numbers will start to climb really quickly and you'll start to see that traffic coming through as well. Okay, so first things first, you need to have a business set up on your Pinterest. It cannot be a personal profile. So if you don't do have that yet, then go ahead and go through the prompts, set it up as a business. It's super easy if you just follow through. The second thing is you wanna get verified for those rich pins on Pinterest. And all you have to do is go to your website, copy uh, your URL, and you just paste it right in there. And when you click on the button, it should say verified. If it doesn't, then you need to contact your web host and find out the reason why it's not working or try a different page as well. So now that you have a set up for rich pins, now you can actually take your blog post and you can 
put it back in there. That's gonna have to be a whole separate video. But this point of this is I wanted you to take away these three main things so that way you can start implementing this into your strategies when you're actually doing your other social media platforms. The reason why I'm such a big advocate for Pinterest is because there is ongoing traffic. The average pin stays live for two years, you guys. Two years! Instagram is like 36 hours. I mean, if we were just to do simple math, it makes so much more sense to put time and energy into your Pinterest. So start now, and even if you just put like an hour each week, see what happens. Just try it and see what happens. Do it for one full month, and then you better come back and thank me later. <laughs> So I use Squarespace for my website, and if you don't use Squarespace, that's okay. You'll have your own version of this. A lot of people like to use WordPress as well, but I'm gonna show you the steps that I can do in order to make sure that my pins are visible and that people could come back to me and come full circle. You wanna make a relationship. You wanna make your website and Pinterest talk to each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under settings here. Things I'm gonna click on connected accounts. And as you can see here, I've got Facebook, my Instagram, I have my, you know, almost everything besides my Pinterest. So I wanna make sure that I'm connecting my Pinterest account. So all you have to do is say connect account, click on Pinterest, it should pop up, and then I'm gonna say give access right here. You can have like a push option here. Now the push option means that whenever you go to publish something, it actually just sends it directly to Pinterest, but you can have the option to not have it show up on Pinterest and you can do it yourself. That way you can have the title, the way, or that way you can have the cover the way that you want it. But if you don't care about stuff like that, you can always keep it that way too. So now I wanna go back to my Pinterest and I wanna click the refresh button and I wanna look at this and it says the website has been claimed right here. And you'll see the little globe with the check mark and basically that's just verifying that I now have my Instagram account attached to my website correctly. This can take about 24 hours, just a little heads up if you have never done this before. Just give it a little bit of patience and time. If it doesn't show up right away, don't get discouraged. It might just take a little bit. And so you know when you go to a website and when you hover over a picture, it actually shows the Pinterest emblem. So you can click on it and you can pin it to your boards. That's what we're gonna do here now too. So if I actually go to my website again and I click on the marketing section, then I'm gonna go ahead and say, Pinterest save buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to enable for blog pages and products. That way everything that I put on there, as many things that you can pin as possible, I want that to be an option. The other thing that I'm gonna do is you can actually toggle over to change the size if you want it small or large, and you can see at the example at the bottom. I'm gonna change it to circle so it's not super obnoxious, but you can still see it. And then I'm just gonna click on save, and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a whirl. If I go to my website, you can see right here in the corner that you can see that Pinterest option right here. So all I would have to do is click on that and then it would just take me directly to my Pinterest. Okay, one more little tip and then I swear I'm gonna keep it at that just so I can keep this as simple and easy as possible, but this is also something that's important. So if you go back into your marketing tab and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over here to the share buttons and I just wanna make sure that the correct share buttons are showing. So I'm gonna actually toggle off the Twitter and the Tumblr since I don't use those accounts. So now it just has my Facebook and my Pinterest at the bottom of my share buttons. That way if anybody finds me through Pinterest or even through my website, then they have a quick, easy way to find me on my social shares as well. So that's the reason why I wanna make sure that those are clicked on because sometimes the default is for them to be clicked off. So that's something worth checking into as well. For more marketing tips, especially if you're a beauty professional, make sure you click up here so that you can go through some of those other marketing tips for advice. I'm looking forward to connecting with you again. I have an awesome technique that I'm gonna share with you guys next week. So doing a quick recap here, make sure you're doing at least those three tips on Pinterest. So your rich pins, getting them verified and making sure that you're a business, setting up your website on there. So those are kind of like the three in one. Making sure that you're doing regular pins and you're doing the alt text so that people can find you and they have more meta description inside of it. And then the third thing is to do your idea pins because that is forward facing and that is how people can find you and that is super relevant and Pinterest is pushing more effort in that direction right now. 
Also, I will link in the show notes my podcast because it goes over lots of marketing tips. If you prefer that method, I will put that below as well. So I wanna do all the things to help you make sure that your business is prosperous and you can make money while you're sleeping. Doesn't that sound amazing? I wanna show you guys how you can do this and I know you can. Make sure you comment below if you guys have any questions regarding this video or if you have any videos in the future that you wanna see me do, especially if you want me to talk more about Squarespace or Pinterest, I'm happy to do that. But in the meantime, next week, we're gonna be actually doing a tutorial together and I'm excited to get back into the color side of things. So I'm gonna be showing you a really special technique. So make sure you join me next week. Click that like and subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things, and I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing night, goodbye. I'll put on a tight show. You sure you can handle?